Hello, this is Chris Hammond from ChrisDoc.com. It's been a long time since I've created a DNN video, but I'm back with a new series here. Hopefully the first of many. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a module that I created back in the days when I worked for DNN Corp and uh, created it as a tutorial of sorts back in probably 2011, 2012 timeframe. And uh, since that time, I've maintained it and utilized it on a uh, website or two that I run. The module is called DNN Simple Article. And by design, it was supposed to be a very basic article management module. It's got some very simple features, easy to use, somewhat easy to customize, and it's 100% completely open source. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction into that video or into the module. And then in the next couple of videos, I'll show you more about using the module and developing that particular module. Now, as a prereq, I assume that you already have DNN installed. And what we're going to cover in this video, we'll do a brief introduction to the module, kind of give you a basic overview of some of the features. I'm going to show it, it to you on a DNN website that's in production out in the public now. And then I'll walk you through where you can get it. You can get the install files or the source files if you want to get those. And like I said, in that next video, we'll do a, uh, an, uh, an overview of how to clone the source with Git and then start to develop it on your own if you wish to do so. So let me just go ahead and switch over to a browser that has the module installed on it. So this is a DNN9 website. It's called bicycletips.com. This particular site is just a simple blog that I've created for managing bicycle content. So what we've got here, the primary function of this site is the simple article module. So every one of these squares that you see here is a separate article that is being rendered by the simple article module. So if I mouse over one of these, you can see down in the very bottom of the page, every article has its own unique URL and have customized the URL, utilizing the URL provider within DNN. If we go ahead and click on the link, that will open up a page here. And we can see one of these particular articles. Now, in this case, the article title is New Gear colon Salsa Wood Chipper Carbon. It has some author byline information written by myself, Chris Hammond. And then it has the content of the body of that particular article being displayed. Very simple. If we go ahead and navigate back to the home page there again, any of these articles here all have their own unique URL, which because I've got full screen going, you can't see, but if we go ahead and minimize full screen there, you can see each article has its own unique URL. Currently building those URLs with the year and the month and then the title of the article. Now you can actually customize that and we'll see that uh, in the edit interface for an article. So if we navigate back to the uh, home page here, go ahead and click on the edit pencil on the DNN page where the module is installed. When we mouse over the actions menus for the article or for the article module, you'll see under the edit action, there's an add article option. If we go into the settings for a module, there is a custom tab uh, for the module settings for the DNN simple article module. Now what you can customize on the article settings or the module settings, you can customize the page size if you want to show categories or not. We have some advanced settings. We can configure if the RSS, uh, really simple syndication XML contains the full text or not. Uh, we can scrub it and have clean RSS. There's a display type option. Now this is something that I actually added into the simple article module within the past couple of months, but I haven't officially released it yet. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can get that and start to utilize it. Now the display type, there's an article list, which is pretty simple. It shows a title and a description for each article and the flexible list. Now the flexible list was something that I wanted to create and design to uh, allow me to have these images or graphic for each particular article. And you can see some styling. If I mouse over the graphic for an article, the, the color for that particular image goes away. It goes black and white. But that 
flexible list option is what I created in order to be able to support that. Now, it is possible to create additional display types. I don't currently have those, uh, an admin interface configured for those, but there is a database option that if you wanted to create and customize a display type, you could. And then within the admin tools section of the module settings, we have the ability to delete all of our content and we can clear the search index if we want to do that as well. Now, let me go ahead and hit cancel here and navigate back to our homepage. Now, when we, when we are adding a new article, we can click on the add article option. And what we'll see here is we have some very simple options available to us. We have a title. And you'll see as I type in the title, it also builds out my permalink. Now the permalink is the URL stub that's going to be provided in that URL for this particular article. So it automatically takes the title, makes it all lowercase, puts in a dash for any spaces, makes that the permalink. Now I could change that. I could just say article URL and let that be the URL of this test article. From there, we have a rich text editor for our article description. Now, on the flexible display type that we saw earlier, it will show the title and the article description kind of above or on top of that particular thumbnail or article image. If we scroll down, we do have an article image selector here. It uses the standard DNN file selector. We can choose a folder, and then we can choose a file or an image from within that folder. And if we continue down, we get into our article body, another rich text editor here in which we can provide the content for our article. And then finally, if we have the categories option enabled, we have a category listing here. Now, this particular category listing allows us to create categories of content that can be linked through uh, the tag cloud modules that are available for DNN. So in this case, I've created a number of different categories for the Bicycle Tips website. 30 days of biking, bicycle tips, big sugar gravel, bike packing, camping, dirty Kansas. So as I create an article, I can choose to associate that article to one or many categories. Now, if I go ahead and hit save article, that's going to save the article. I'm not going to do that because I'm here in my production website. I don't want to create a new article at this point. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we get if we view an article and then we mouse over that edit pencil in the actions menu. So in addition to the add article option, we also now have an edit article option. And if we scroll down towards the bottom of the article itself, there is an edit and a delete option there as well. If we go ahead and click on edit, that's gonna take us to that add article interface, allowing us to edit that existing article. So in this case, this article has a title, which we covered earlier, new gear, colon, salsa, wood chip, or carbon. And then the article description is simply wider is better with a question mark. Now the body of that article has a lot more content in it. You can see it does have some categories associated here, DK, equipment, gravel, and industry. And if I go ahead and click on cancel, navigate back to my article list here. What I want to show you is within the search results in DNN, now I'm running on DNN 9.5. If we mouse over the link over here on the right side of the page, it says heading to Dirty Kansas 2020. That's a bike race in Kansas coming up in May of 2020. But if I click on that link, it's going to take us to the .NET Nuke search interface. Now I've passed in the words Dirty Kansas and it's pulling those up as a result here within the, the uh, search results here for DNN. So you can do that with search results, text. You can also do it with the categories. Now categories are actually managed under the gear icon in the persona bar, under vocabularies, and then we've got a category section there. So you can see this is all just straight DNN categories that I've managed and created within DNN and the simple article module utilizes those. So this is a very simple intro to that DNN simple article module. It does have paging. If you have more than uh, 12 items, by default, like I said, I had 12 as my page list. I can go previous or next and navigate through the pages of all of that content.
So in the next video, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get the source code for this module so you can customize it, package it, and even install it into your own DNN website. Now, if you do want to go ahead and install it without having to grab the source code, you can navigate to my GitHub page, github.com slash Chris Hammond, and click on the DNN Simple Article repository. And from there, you can grab the releases. Now you can see the last release there was actually February 25th, 2016. I'll have a new release out here shortly. Uh, maybe by the time this video gets out, but hopefully within a week or two, if not. So you can see all of the latest content that this particular module and functionality that this module has. My name is Chris Hammond with ChrisTalk.com. Thanks for watching the video.